So we're going to do the chance between the temperature and the maximum temperature possible in the game, meaning if it's at maximum temperature, the chance of it spreading is 100%. Um, otherwise, it's not. So the hotter it is, and at literally zero, there is no chance. Alright, let's see what happens now. Should be a little bit less insane now, but still a little bit insane. We oh, look at them try to survive. So sad and puny. There's nothing they can do to avoid the gray goo. There was nothing they could do. The thing about Grey Goo is th there is legitimately nothing you can do to get away from it. Um, although if the ship was extremely cold, yeah, it doesn't spread. Uh, but if you let it heat up... If you let it heat up... at all... Boom. She's spreading again. And let's go ahead and just check out very quickly Squareite or Cubite. And uh, finally, I will destroy Cubite. Goodbye, Cubite. Wait. What? It's putting up a fight. I cannot believe this! <laughs> How dare Cubite put up a fight against my literal Grey Goo? Are you kidding me? I am actually shocked right now. There's no way I can hold up a defensive forever. But the fact that it's even able to at all? Even if it's void, it's still... It's gotta be void being cloned by a layer. Okay, it's, it's starting to fall apart. Wow. That is, uh... That is pretty impressive. I cannot... I, I'm actually very impressed. Huh. Well. That, that is not something you see every day. Um, it did manage to break into the square, and now it's starting to do damage. And uh, obviously... Grey Goo is programmed to be pretty much unstoppable. But I will say... That is... Pretty... Damn impressive that it held out at all. I mean, and it's still putting up a fight. Even from the inside. That's... That's interesting. I guess the Cubite has finally met its match. Finally met its match indeed. Ugh. It's just slowly eating it away. Alright, let's go ahead and go back. To the earth to do some testing. Where the moon very quickly gets consumed. This isn't very surprising. Oh, but it breaks the gravity well thing. That's funny. And then it rains down onto. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> the moon couldn't contain it. Even the International Space Station got hit. Hmm. 
Very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate for them. And then the entire planet gets absolutely eaten. Wow. We really do live in a society. Bottom text. But uh, interestingly, you'll notice that it's going to actually murder itself. It's going to eat the core of the planet, which is going to kill gravity, and it's all going to fall out of existence. Any second now. <clears throat> oh. There it goes. There's no gravity anymore, it's just being held there by sheer willpower. Interesting. I was expecting it to uh, be a little bit more dramatic. <coughs> fun, fun fact. Um, we can do some magic here to uh, optimize this. Uh oh. Spiky boy seems to have made another mistake somewhere. Do, do, do. It could be worse, though. It's just progress. Okay, so these are all pretty damn happy, but why aren't they eating the ship and catching on fire? That is the question. Uh, well, I know I can do a single line with that. Okay. It, it may just be a uh, C++ convention I'm getting wrong. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. That's what I wanted to see. Very nice. Red Goo has a little bit of a f dramatic flair. Alright, pretty good. Going to turn the color down even further. Alright, um, gonna make it flammable. How do I make it burn like uh, oil? Flammable 20, we'll do 10. Alright, see how this does. Okay, so now if we're fighting a ship and we want to drop some goo on them, it will rather effectively and rather violently do the job. Very nice. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, very cool. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. 
I'm not completely happy with the color. Um, and I'm kind of curious if I made it do plasma instead. I mean, it would be pretty brutal, but perhaps cool. Perhaps cool. That's a little bit more violent. That's a little bit more violent. Very nice. And it is ashes. Curious if we put some red goo and gray goo in a room together with the new version of the mod, what will happen? Red goo obviously is doing its best to just absolutely annihilate everything, while gray goo is more of a let's turn everything into ourselves. But when they collide, we shall see what happens. Ooh, the red goo is falling onto the gray goo. They are actually fighting. There is a battle being made between them. Who will win? I mean, the thing is the red goo emits its own heat, so that's kind of an advantage. The red goo should heat up more than the gray goo, giving it a better spreading advantage. Because remember, this, the rate of it spreading is directly correlated to the temperature. But it also heats up the gray goo. Uh, but I don't think it'll heat up the gray goo as much as it heats up itself. But the red goo also kills itself when it uh, creates the plasma. So, this may just be one of those battles that will just never end. It does look like red is gaining ground, though. Maybe I'm crazy, but it does appear that the red goo is gaining ground on the gray goo. The battle over here is so intense. It's letting out some crazy temperatures. You know what else lets out crazy temperatures? Nahonium. Weeeeeek! Which instantly gets eaten. Brilliant. Uh, I would say that the red goo is definitely taking a... a very violent approach to this. I mean, it's actually pretty quickly eating away the gray goo. There's gonna be nothing left in the world soon. But the gray goo did put up quite a fight. Um, wow, very interesting. <laughs> I'm curious what will be the only thing left when we get to the very bottom. I mean, eventually there will only be one. It's kind of neat with the plasma coming off of it. We do have a little bit of a battle going on here. The red goo is no longer able to convert itself into plasma because it can't be surrounded by enough of itself. But it would appear that the red goo is taking ground. 
interesting. It, it is possible that just there's always red and gray goo. There is a weakness. There is actually a very effective weakness. Um, cold. Even if we put a giant thing here of uh, our red goo, if we freeze it down to basically zero, as you can see, it does not spread. If I stop and let it heat up a little bit, it'll begin to spread. And considering it lets out plasma as it spreads, it'll heat up very quickly. But you can try to fight it with cold. You can make an attempt. Like, we can try to cool this down again. Uh, and it is slowing it down, but we're fighting plasma. Oh, there we go. We actually stopped it. Until, you know, it starts again. And when it starts again, it gets very hungry. Very, very hungry. <laughs> Oh, I feel so evil making these things. Whoosh. What a dramatic implosion of the planet. Very dramatic. Fantastic. Very happy with how that turned out. All right, we have begun rebuilding the mod, um, making some real progress and getting things back where they should be. Well, that that's it. Thank you for watching. We're making the mod again. You can download it. It's in the description below. How exciting. It'll give you like a Windows warning and you have to ignore it because, you know, it doesn't trust me. Very sad. Microsoft, you should trust anyone named Spike Viper. That's a rule. Thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.